Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Tuesday, April the 4th, 2023. My name is Brian J. Monroe. I'm pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and we are in the season of Lent. Holy Week, actually. Easter's coming, and this is Tuesday of Holy Week. The scriptures we'll read today would be the same selection in any of the three years of the lectionary cycle. We're going to have four readings instead of the usual three on a weekday, beginning with a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verses 1 to 7. We begin, and then we'll move on to have a psalm and a few other things too. There we go. Psalm Isaiah 49, verses 1 to 7. Listen to me, O coastlands. And give attention, you peoples, from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother he named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord and my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, He who formed me from the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob back to him and, Israel, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord and my God has become my strength. He says... It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the preserved of Israel. I will make you as a light for the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nation, the servant of rulers. Kings shall see and arise, Princes, and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. Now, Psalm 71, verses 1 to 14. Reading from the English Standard Version. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge to which I may continually come. You've given the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O oh my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel man. For you, O oh Lord, are my hope, my trust, O oh Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from before my birth. You are he who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have been as a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength is spent. For my enemies speak concerning me. Those who watch for my life consult together and say, God has forsaken him. Pursue and seize him, for there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. O my God, make haste to help me. May my accusers be put to shame and consumed. With scorn and disgrace may they be covered who seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. From the New Testament, we go to Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. That is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 to 31. The apostle writes, For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, 
it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God the world did not know God through wisdom, it pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs, and Greeks seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For consider your calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise, according to worldly standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not, to bring to nothing things that are so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. And because of him, you are in Christ Jesus, who became to us wisdom from God, righteousness and sanctification and redemption, so that, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Our final reading today, friends, comes from the Gospel according to John, Chapter 12, we'll read verses 20 to 36. Now, among those who went up to the worship at the feast were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, who, were from, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, that person must follow me, and where I am, there will be my servant, but there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor that person. Now my soul now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? But for this purpose, I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out, and I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Jesus said this to show by what kind of death he was going to die. So the crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? So Jesus said to them, The light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. The one who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, Believe in the light, that you may become children of light. 
Almighty Father God, this is your eternal word. May we be grateful for your gracious provision of it to us and grant that your Holy Spirit will take us from being people who merely hear or read your word to become people who have your word written in our minds, on our hearts, and in our very souls, wherein it can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Dear friends, I thank you for spending a few moments, <coughs> pardon me, listening to scripture being read. I've placed the references for today's readings in the description portion of this video so that you can take more time to read them for yourself, ponder them, have them move inside you, and lead you closer to Christ. Until we are able to be together again for the readings prescribed for that day, and I pray it will be tomorrow, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom.